Hey everyone, I'm Kayla Kobeck Galton, the Curriculum and Project Strategist here at the Diversity Movement. I received my BA from Duke University in Psychology of Gender and Sexuality and thus serve the role as our Resident Gender Studies Specialist. Today, we are going to go back to the basics and define some key terms. Oftentimes, sex, gender identity, and sexual orientation end up muddled and undifferentiated. However, these are three distinct aspects of a person's identity and one does not define the others. Thus, sex does not determine gender identity or sexuality and vice versa. Sex is related to biological differences between male and female and is often determined at birth. These biological differences may include reproductive organs, chromosomes, and levels of hormones. Sex is often seen as a clear-cut binary, but intersex individuals make up about 1 to 2% of the population. These are people who are either born with a mix of male and female reproductive organs and or have two X chromosomes and one Y chromosome, for example. On the other hand, gender identity is related to how one views and labels themselves within society. Gender identity is related to the general concept of gender, which can be defined as the social and cultural roles of individuals within society. The World Health Organization defines gender as the socially constructed characteristics of women and men, such as norms, roles, and relationships of and between groups of women and men. It varies from society to society and can be changed. Thus, gender identity is the gender in which a person chooses to label themselves as. Finally, sexual orientation refers to whom someone is attracted to romantically and or sexually. Some commonly denoted sexual orientations include homosexual, heterosexual, bisexual, queer, pansexual, asexual, and so on. Some people may also choose to not label their sexual orientation. Remember, it's always important to consider that some people may not consider sex, gender, or sexual orientation to be binary spectrums. All kinds of labels and identities exist, and it's important to use the terms and concepts an individual prefers to associate with. Hopefully this helps you better understand the basic breakdown of sex, gender identity, and sexual orientation, and the ways in which these three forces are distinct characteristics of one's identity.